good afternoon today we are going to see the problem on internally indeterminate trust in last video we are with externally indeterminate trust when we will talk about internally indeterminate trust we have for internally indeterminacy dsi is equal to m minus 2j minus 3 so now we will start with the problem determine the forces in all members of the truss as shown in figure cross sectional area of all the horizontal member 5000 mm square vertical 2000 and diagonal members 1000 mm square and this truss is given now we have to find both dsc and dsi and then we have to decide truss is internally indeterminate or externally indeterminate now we will have formula static indeterminacy r we have 3 now here we have roller support so my reaction is perpendicular to the plane of the roller 1 and as it is simple support we have that rea two reactions that is horizontal as well as vertical as it is simple support so we have 3 minus 3 because equilibrium equation we have 3 so three equilibrium equations we have summation fx 0 then we have summation fy 0 and moment about any point we have equal to 0 so we have these three equations and therefore it becomes 3 minus 3 that is equal to 0 dsi we have m minus 2j minus 3 now you can see how many members we have so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 and 8 so we have eight members so we have and joint we have a b c d e five joints so 8 minus 2 into 5 minus 3 and that is equal to 1 so we have ds equal to ds e plus ds i and that is equal to 1 and therefore we have Truss is internally indeterminate. Truss is internally indeterminate. Internally indeterminate. To degree one. therefore member we have to consider as redundant and we will consider member ac as redundant so ac member we have redundant so now when we are going to find the p forces now we have this step that is for p forces and when we have to go for p forces we have to remove redundants remove redundant it may be reaction or it may be member we have to remove redundant and therefore we have remove ac member so now we have to consider the first we have to determine zero force members now you can see as joint c if we will consider and at joint c if we will draw this then we have cd member and ce member these two are collinear so force in this member should be zero that we have seen over here now we will consider each joint separately now we have this joint e and we are going to consider these three members eb ec and 100 kN so two member and one force now this angle we have 4 by 3 and this angle we got it as 53.13 degrees that is tan inverse of 4 by 3 now assume always tensile force in the member and then we will write equations so now first we will write equation that is summation fy equal to 0 because in y direction we have only one unknown which is component of feb and then we are going to be with feb sin 53.13 minus 100 so this feb upward so we have plus 100 we have downward so minus and that is equal to 0 gives us feb 125 kN as we got value plus 
so it is tensile. Now we will switch over to the do another equation summation fx equal to zero and in summation fx equal to zero we have unknown that is only fec so we have minus fec minus feb cos 53.53 and we know this is 125 and that is equal to zero feb we have minus 75 kilonewton so we can have this at 75 kilonewton which is compression now we have to show these forces in the diagram so you can see we have shown this is 125 kilonewton and then we have this as 75 kilonewton this is compression and uh, eb we have tension now if we will go to C joint, we will not show it. Here we have shown, then we have this force in the member that is 75 kilonewton. Now we have vertical zero, so automatically this we will get as 75 kilonewton, equal and opposite. And therefore force in member C, D, we have 75 kilonewton compression. Now knowing this, uh, we will switch over to the Joint B. So now at joint B, we have four members. Out of these four, we know value of two. So unknown are two only. So we have this zero, we have this as 125. So first we will apply the summation FY0 because unknown is FBD only. So we have summation FY0. And from this, we will get minus FBD sine 53.13 that is component of this member and then again component of this member ma minus 125 sine 53.13 equal to zero and from this we will get it as so sine 53.13 45 is not there and minus 125 sine 53.13 gives FBD minus 125. As we got it as minus, so FBD we have compression. Then uh, summation Fx equal to zero, we will apply unknown is only FBA. So we have minus FBD cos 53.13 component of this. Then we have component of 125. Now component of this is plus because we have component, this is in fourth coordinate and therefore we have X as plus and then minus FBA and that is equal to zero. And from this we will get FBA and that FBA we will get it as equal to 150 kilonewton because now FBD we have minus and so this minus minus becomes plus and FBA becomes two times 125 cos 53.13. This is most important. We have value of FBD as minus 125. We have to keep in mind this minus 125 kilonewton. That we have to put minus 125. And from this we will get FBA as 150 kilonewton. Now we will show these forces. So this is 125 kilonewton, which is BD compression and BA, we have 150 kilonewton tension. So now we have to find force in AD only. And now if we will see AD, so we have AD that is equal to component of this 125 vertical component vertical component of this goes downward, which is 100 kilonewton. So we have in DA upward, which is 100 kilonewton. Or we can have this four reaction that is equal to 100 if I will apply summation FY0, and then this 100 kilonewton will be balanced by this vertical component of reaction at A, and that will be upward. So force in this we have downward. 100 kilonewton. So we have these as the P forces in the members. Now we will show these uh, P forces in table. Now we will go for K forces. So now we have redundant as AC and we have applied unit force in this. So we have one in this 
and then we will calculate others. Now you can see we have joint E and as no external load, no reaction at E, so force in both members becomes zero. And then we have to go for only these forces in these six members. So now we will have AC1. So now we will consider joint C. Now at C we have this as zero, this is known. So we will find force in CB and force in CD. Now simply we have cos component of this will gives us force in member FCD and sine component gives FCB. So and will be FX zero. So we will have minus one sine one cos 53.13 minus FCD and that is equal to zero. So FCD equal to minus 0.6 and that is compression. Now similarly, if we will apply summation FY0, then you can see in this summation FY0, we have only vertical component 1 sine 53.13 plus FCB and then it is also minus 0.6 compression. So we have this as same. Now if we will go at joint B and then if we will solve this, so you can see we have uh, FB C as 0.8 and if we will apply this then we will get FBD1 plus tensile and then if we will calculate FX0 then we will get it as 0.6 compression and accordingly we will get this as 1.6 and automatically we have at D that is DA.8. So we have this as K forces. Now we will tabulate all these P forces and K forces in this table which we have seen in last video and just I will put this member length area P force this P we have in kilonewtons. Then we have K force PKL upon A we have calculated. K square L upon A we have calculated. Then we will go to the next member. So we have in this next member that is Remember BC, then we have this data for BC. So you can go through this P forces, you can go through K forces, and by using this, we are going to get this value for CD. Similarly, we have value for DA, we have these values for DA. Then we have values for AC, we have to see P forces, we have to see K forces, and then we have to substitute these values. Then we can go for BD member and for BD member we have these values and then you can have total summation PKL upon A minus 812 and summation K square upon L by A which is 13. And then if we will substitute these values then we know we have value of DR only in sinking of support and therefore we will substitute the values in this. So DR0 PKL upon A we have minus 812, E we have 200. Now why we have taken 200? Because this 812, this is the unit of this we have, that is kilonewton per millimeter. And therefore we have taken this value as newton per millimeter, kilonewton per millimeter square. And therefore it is taken as 200 plus 13 upon 200 into R and from this we will get value of R that is equal to 62.46 into 10 days to 3 and that if we will calculate so we have this value actually 812 upon 13 and this comes 62.46 so this value we will directly get in kilonewton. So no 10 days to 3 over here. So we have directly it is in kilonewton. And then we have this will be 62.46 kilonewton. So knowing this value, we can find force in all the members by using the formula that is PF is equal to P plus KR. If I will go for member AB, now try to understand this. For AB, <coughs> AB, we have value of P as 150 
and then we have k point six, so minus point six into r, we have sixty two point four six. And if we will calculate this value, we will get plus one one two point five two. Now, if we will go to B C, then we have value of P as zero minus zero point eight into sixty two point four six, and we will get this value that is equal to fifty kilonewton compression. Then we have for C D. Similarly, we can calculate for all C D. We have minus seventy five minus point six into sixty two point four six. And we will get this value one one two point four eight. Now you can see this value is minus fifty. So compression. This value is minus one one two point four eight minus so compression. And this value we have plus. So we have this extension. And likewise we can find all other values. And similarly we have to show all these values in our main truss also. And this is your final truss. that is analysis of trust this diagram is most important so today we will stop here only this is problem which is related with your internal indeterminacy thank you